We're here at South Hampstead High School today for the Student Digital Leaders Conference, which is an annual event where over 200 students from across our 26 schools come together to show off their digital skills and to consider issues that are important in the world of women and technology. We set off with our challenge and we spent around two hours, even more probably, and then I went to a lesson with um, a lady who had micro bits and then that was really fun. The best thing about today is basically being able to go out of the ICT classroom and use your skills in a project like as challenging as this. Our project's about two games put together, Minecraft and Sims, so that more girls enjoy it. I've learnt a lot. I've learnt how to code um, in the coding masterclass and um, it was really educational because I learnt how to do different things but using the same buttons. It's just nice meeting other people who have lots of different ideas but we're under the same roof and we all have one thing in common and we all love ICT. <laughs> It's been amazing to see all the work that the girls have done over the day and it's frankly incredible how much they've managed to produce in the time that we've had. They probably only had about two and a half hours working solidly on their project but they've managed to code websites from scratch, they've managed to build flyers, to create amazing stop motion videos, some of them have made green screen videos and on top of all of that they've come up with some truly innovative ideas. With us here today, we've had some fantastic women who work in technology in all sorts of different roles, including Rosie Slater, who is the Chief Information Officer at the British Red Cross, a fantastically impressive woman, as well as one of our own alumni, Jenny Brennan, who works as a developer and front-end designer for Code Kingdoms. So we've had a real range of technology women able to support what we're doing and show the girls what they're doing and give them something to aspire to. The girls were absolutely buzzing as they left, talking about all of the things that they'd done and the things that they'd seen, the experiences that they'd had. And I know that they're looking forward to coming back here next year just as much as we're looking forward to seeing them again.